I'm feeling vibes on vibes I'm ticking dynamite I blow your candle lights You know I'm just that vibe No, them no fit kill my vibe Them no fit kill my vibe No fit kill, them no fit kill Them no fit kill my vibe Why is my set full of the stars? Yeah, you shall find a piece of my pie If you hit your enemies, enemies shine Cause you can never kill my vibe But there is no sacrifices Everything was taken You had to make it Vibe killer Me and the good take shit Vibe killer Hi guys, welcome to my channel Thank you so much for stopping by If this is your first time here Please be sure to click the subscribe button As well as the notifications bell so you don't miss out every single time I post a new video. If you're already part of the fabulous family, what's popping, what's happening, what's good. So first things first, um, don't mind me, I look very crusty, but this is the real me and I'm still beautiful, so everybody's gonna have to accept that. Also, if you hear any noise, my dishwasher is on and that thing banging, so I'm so sorry if it's too loud, but I think I have my noise cancellation turned on, but just in case I don't, I apologize in advance so um long time no see long time no see i haven't spoken to you guys in so long i have not made a video in ages um we are so close to christmas we are a couple of days away from christmas um so hopefully i do actually post this before christmas because that's the plan um and it's funny because i actually initially had filmed the end of november like i randomly woke up and did a vlog and i did a whole intro and like a whole explanation of how i just woke up feeling like vlogging and da -da 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 and this is me and then like when everything was said and done and that week was up because i filmed it as a weekly vlog and i know that week i actually didn't film every single day and so i was feeling like i was getting back into the swing of things and so sometimes with well, some parts of the vlog were very choppy and I just didn't like the quality of it. So I ended up talking myself out of posting the vlog, like uploading the vlog. Um, but then I got a message, right? I got a DM um, and I'm going to put the DM here. I'm not going to say her name because I don't think she wants to seem like she's a fan type of thing. And I actually know her like through mutual people. So I'm not going to do that to her. But she DM'd me and she sent me this message and it honestly warmed my heart. And the thing is, this is just the first or the only message I have like at hand. Like I often don't take screenshots of these messages. So I'm not gonna go DM diving to find the different messages I've been sent. But like, I do often get videos asking me where, I'm, where I am. Am I gonna come back? Am I done forever? And people actually tell me that they like my vlogs or my Instagram content and it honestly, fills me with so much joy and love because i honestly thought i was done with it <laughs> um as you can tell at this point we're basically in life update mode so let's just crack on with it so yeah i honestly thought i was done with it all um i did say last year that i would only pick up the camera as and when i feel like it and nothing about that has changed but there was a point where it just didn't feel like I was coming back. This year has been so hard for me. And I feel like I say this every year. Like since 2020, I've been saying how hard my year is. And don't get me wrong. I'm in a space where I can acknowledge God's grace. And that God has been, you know, merciful and has given me many blessings. But I can also acknowledge my own pain. I can also acknowledge the things that have not been great for me. And I can acknowledge how I feel, even if those feelings are not so positive. It's just that I'm actively trying to not stay in a depressive episode or like combat my depression. I'm not stay in a negative space. Like I'm trying my best not to. But regardless of how positive and good vibes i want to be like those things still happened those feelings i still have or had and so i'm going to acknowledge them rather than pretend that they don't exist and then living them first up so yeah this year was really hard um i didn't feel like making content my endometriosis like took a turn for the worst it was really bad this year so i gained weight and that's the thing when you have pcos or endometriosis you know how significantly hard it is for you to lose weight and granted i wasn't going to the gym 
as i was before like as much as i was before but because my endometriosis was flaring up mad the weight gain was exponentially higher than it normally would have been and so i just did not want to get a camera i'm not even going to hold you i pride myself in being body positive and like trying to be a person of the people but i've always also prided myself in being very honest on this channel so despite the fact that in theory i wanted to have those feelings in reality i simply did not have those feelings i felt ugly i felt super fat and i kind of went back into my old state of mind where it's like i was equating being ugly and being in fact let me not cap it's not so much that i was equating being ugly and being fat i was equating being undesirable and being fat which unleashed deeper feelings within me because at the same time it's like why would i seek to be desirable why would i want that because i'm you know happy in my relationship it's not like i'm seeking the male gaze um the, the friends i have around me are solid people that love me for me whether i'm a size 12 or a size 18 like my friends love me for who i am so who am i seeking to be desirable to and then there was also the harsh reality of the fact that desirability goes beyond these things because even in terms of instagram and youtube um despite the fact that i feel like i don't need to worry about desirability desirability also plays a big part in how people perceive your content how people perceive you the number of people you get viewing your content like it has a big impact and so i was now in this like body size or space that i've never been as far as since i started this youtube channel in my life yes maybe i've been there but as far as this channel has been alive this is the biggest i've been and so it was just very difficult for me to just pick up the camera and like if you ask one of my friends a lot of the time i'll be like okay when we go out i'll take a picture today i get there i don't feel it i'm like too big i don't want to be seen on camera and so naturally there's nothing for me to post on instagram apart from like photo dumps <laughs> which is not going to do anything for like if you want to actually be a content creator and i was still in a weird space when i'm like anyway even when i started content creation on youtube it was always to lead people i mean on instagram sorry it was always to lead people to my youtube but i'm not even active on there so like what am i doing this for because i don't want to be an influencer i don't want to be like a content creator for content creator's sake it was always to for it was always in order to sorry um lead people to my youtube and the youtube was supposed to serve as some sort of a portfolio in order to prove my styling ability but it's like if i'm not doing that what am i creating content for so it was this whole big cycle um factor in obviously my fluctuating depression and fluctuating mental health there was just nothing for me to come to youtube for because i'm certainly not going to come to youtube and show myself at the worst of the worst um also majority of the time when i'm at my lowest i'm not going out i'm not seeing my friends half as much so i'm at home so even if i try to do weekly vlogs um or weekend vlogs or daily like there's nothing i'm doing apart from working cooking watching tv and sleeping like there's absolutely nothing else i can show people but um i kind of got to november and i felt like hey i miss vlogging and i really do like that's one thing i will always say despite the numbers i always loved youtube for the filming experience the experience of actually editing material learning different editing tips and tricks and skills and then uploading something and feeling like accomplished like oh this is something i created like people know me i love my vlogs and my tiktoks <laughs> me personally y'all may not think they're hits but for me it's a blockbuster i am loving the heck at that material and so sometimes i'll watch it and sometimes i'll watch it back and see how can i improve how can i change it how can i make it better um or just watch the vlog and be like that was so fun and that's something i also said to myself back in 2020 that sometimes as much as something may not get numbers it's so joyous for me like to look back on a vlog and be like i was having so much time oh this is when i did this and then i did that and then i went here and then i did i love it so i just felt like doing that but then in november i just kind of ended up talking myself out of out of uploading i felt like the vlog was choppy and then when i got the message i showed you guys earlier i was like what the heck like i never used to 
seek perfection i used to just be me and just be like this is what i'm putting out if a hundred people watch it they watch it if a thousand people plus watch it they watch it but like it is what it is here i am and so that's actually why i picked up the camera to vlog today <laughs> but even just in general just a continuation of the life update i've been i've been okay i've been up and down some days are really really bad some days are okay some days are great um it's just the reality of like struggling with mental health issues and stuff but for the most part i'm good i'm grateful to have seen the end of the year i'm just praying to god that i can make it to january next year and beyond um like i said it's a couple of days from christmas so actually the christmas tree is up so yeah i'm sorry if you just see that i was watching a vlog but yeah the christmas tree is up that's how it looks this year so some of the gifts wrapped at the bottom over there i also use this hack to like hide the um the tree legs as well because i really don't like how tree skirts i believe they called look but yeah that's how my tree looks i was really happy with the same kind of vibe as last year i just added different lights that were a little bit warmer my tree is a seven foot tree so and it's because i have high ceilings so i really did need to get a big tree but like yeah same black and gold vibes from last year the presents this year are different i don't know if you remember how last year's looked like they were more what is it like kind of like a they had kind of like a brownish kind of color situation with snowflakes but i couldn't find that wrapping paper despite how much i loved it so i had to go for this gray one which is annoying me because i would have wanted a contrast to the rug but it is what it is we're here i'm not even in the christmas spirit this year i'm not gonna lie um last year i feel like i wasn't in the christmas spirit but towards like as i got into december i got more excited because it was like my first christmas in this apartment this year i'm just like I, I honestly could not be bothered i couldn't be asked but it is what it is and i'm gonna have a good time with the people i'm spending christmas with so we move moving forward um i think just like wrapping up on 2022 it's been a hard year um but many lessons like rihanna says never a failure always a lesson so we move um i really struggle to put into words <laughs> what i want for 2023 i feel like i don't even want to speak about this because i feel like year after year from 2019 um i speak about this is what i want this is what i hope for and things just kind of don't go my way or i just experience like completely a different outcome than what i would have hoped for prayed for expected so i just feel like for 2023 i hope to make it out alive um i hope i get i hope i get to tick off some of my goals i hope some of my heart's desires and, and prayers are answered but generally it is what it is i just hope to make it out healthy and alive as of now it's tuesday i am on annual leave since last week so my annual leave started on the 15th of december which is god sent like i had all this holiday and all these days from this year that i didn't use up so i carried some into next year and i used some this year so i'm on annual leave literally until january 3rd which i'm so happy about because anyone that knows me knows i work like a dog like i have not rested much this year so that being said i've been just using this time to sleep eat shower get back into bed like that's literally been my routine i have some gifts to wrap i think those are the last last four and then from the gifts i showed you by the tree i think only three are for decor the other five are actual gifts so looking forward to i'm lying i'm not looking forward to christmas per se i'm looking forward to seeing some of my loved ones and seeing their faces when they get their gifts because i really do enjoy giving people gifts i don't know what it is i just enjoy like thinking of something and remembering what somebody would have mentioned or knowing what somebody likes or is interested in picking the gift giving it to them and seeing their faces light up when they open it or having them like call or text after they've opened it like oh my gosh thank you so much so i'm looking forward to that rather than christmas day itself but yeah that's pretty much where we're at i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna now roll the footage i filmed 
in november so there's going to be like an intro to the vlog because like i explained it was a little bit choppy and then we have a little outro but um let's roll the clip and i hope you guys enjoy this actually would not be a nessie vlog if i didn't start it off playing another vlog that's making noise guys i feel like i have not picked up my vlogging tripod in so long so stupidly long i feel like the last time i did a vlog was in egypt i feel like that's the last time i did a vlog and that was almost six months ago almost six months ago so whew, let's let's get up and get going i'm gonna have a seat because i feel like we have a lot to get into if you keep hearing a lot of background noise my washing machine is currently running so try your best to ignore that today is a monday like i said it's 4 25 pm i'm working i just took a little bit of a break to have some um to make some tea i think i'm coming down with a cold which is really jarring because i had a cold literally like maybe two or three weeks ago so it's really irritating but what can i do it's really cold lately um it's also that time of year where like bugs and covid and stuff like that is flying around so just trying to make sure that i keep like obviously testing um but yeah here we are again with a weekly vlog this week honestly is not super oh, guys my eyes oh i feel like the more i rub my eyes the more they're gonna end up getting red let me stop anyway this week isn't super jam-packed um pardon me I'm working like that's mostly it today i am at my place i think maybe come like wednesday i'm gonna be at my boyfriend's place um and then i'm gonna stay over at his until like early next week because this weekend is his birthday one of my best friends has his headline show as well this sunday so there's like there's a little bit going on on the weekend the weekend is very jam-packed but as for the week there isn't that much going on however i'm still going to take you through the week and then whatever i do i do whatever i don't i don't for now i'm going to go and have my tea which i left over there i'm gonna crack on with work because i finished working at six and then we'll see where the night takes us i think one of my best friends the one who has his headline show on sunday he might actually come by later today which is so like exciting because I feel like Ryan comes like once a year. I mean, granted, I do live pretty far. <laughs> Not necessarily his fault, but this is fun. Like it's a random surprise on a Monday that Ryan is coming over. So that's probably when I'll see you guys next. Probably or just later on in the evening. So until then. Hi guys. So it's after the work day now, like significantly later. I think it's like seven something. Um, I did my routine phone calls with my family so now i'm gonna make some dinner and i really want to try and make um potato soup that i saw on tiktok like i saw a potato soup recipe that i really want to try only thing is i don't have bacon to add into it which i don't know if it'll make a significant difference so in my head i'm like let me just proceed as normal and just make the damn soup um i don't know if i'll show you guys because i feel like what if this is a fail and it's not working then what where do we go from here you know what i mean but um yeah i'm just gonna make some dinner and then i'm gonna watch like well i have 13 going on 13 playing in the background i'm really into like chick flicks and like old school rom-coms and stuff now so i'm i've just got 13 going on 13 playing in the background and then i'm gonna make the um soup while i wait for ryan i don't even know if ryan's gonna come still i actually don't know if his schedule allows for it anymore but I will see you when I see you. Um, 
um so i'm done cooking now i had a small outfit change in between because the um hoodie i was wearing before is like fur lined so it's thick as hell i was burning up but i'm done with my dinner you guys would have seen what the soup looks like in the last clip i'm excited to try it the next time i see you guys i'll let you know how the soup was i also made some garlic bread some makeshift hood garlic bread but i don't mind making my own garlic butter it's just that i didn't have any like ciabatta bread or like a roll i really had to use actual sliced bread which is like i said very hood adjacent but it's okay cost of living is a crisis you gotta make do okay i'm gonna have my dinner keep watching tv i'm probably gonna watch girlfriends or actually continue my rewatch of being mary jane i think i'll do the rewatch of being mary jane um and yeah i will see you guys when i see talk to us a few days away from the mads experience yeah how are you feeling fine no i'm not feeling fine i'm stressed if i'm being honest but we move um, okay yes. any predictions for sunday i think a 3-0 win um clean sheet what is what do these references mean football references no? sorry not my bag let's start that again any predictions for Sunday? In regards to what? Like just the outcome in general. How do you think you'll feel? How do you think your fans will feel? Um, and how do you think you'll wake up on Monday feeling? If the alcohol does what it's supposed to do on <laughs> Sunday, <laughs> who knows how for Monday? Um, <laughs> In terms of my fans, I know that they'll enjoy it because we're really going in to a place that we haven't been in mm -hmm. a long time. Mm -hmm. It's going to bring a lot of memories, going to bring a lot of joy to people. And yeah, it's going to be a joyous occasion um, that I'm looking forward to. So yeah. Love that. I love it too. <laughs> hi darlings welcome back to the vlog um it's tuesday it's about 1 p.m now okay 12 56 i woke up got ready for work but as you can hear from my voice like i anticipated yesterday i'm definitely ill i woke up in the middle of the night coughing blocked nose congested i was like yep they got me so here i am ill and it's really jarring to me because i was ill literally like maybe three and a half weeks ago my boyfriend gave me his cold I feel like he gave me another one again and the thing is I actually take like my vitamins every morning so the fact that I'm still ill they hate me at this point um so yeah I'm trying to do everything I possibly can to fight this cold I had like I've had lemon and ginger tea twice today um, this morning, instead of taking a shower, I took a hot bath and I soaked so I could feel all warm and cozy. I'm wearing a turtleneck inside of this hoodie. Um, I've got thick socks on. Like, listen, I'm trying to beat this cold ass. As it's lunchtime now, I want to have some soup, like that potato soup I made yesterday. It was so flipping good. I'm going to share the recipe in the description box below if I remember. If I don't remember and somebody still wants the recipe, just DM me on Instagram and I'll send you the recipe. But it was so good. And I'm like, that's even what it tasted like without the bacon. Imagine it had the bacon. Whew, that was good. So I'm going to have some soup, warm my body up. Then I'm going to grab my jacket and go to the pharmacy. The pharmacy is literally not far from me, but it's raining. So like I wanted to wait for the rain to like stop. But shorty, it ain't stopping. <laughs> It's actually not stopping. I'm going to take you guys to the window. Y'all see this? Like, do you guys see this? This is crazy. So, yeah, um, I don't think the rain is going to let up. So, I'm going to have to just firm it and go. I'm going to throw on my Ugg boots and just head out. But let me have some lunch first. Um, actually, before I have some lunch, I need to... I ran the dishwasher last night. So, I need to just pack that away um my clothes are still drying from the laundry i did yesterday i did my whites um so let me pack these dishes away have some lunch 
chill for a bit and then dash out because I need to do all of this during my lunch break. So let's go. I'm so happy, I'm so happy I waited because look how the sun small small came out. Well the sky kinda cleared up and the rain has stopped. So we're to the pharmacy we go. So secured the goods. I also got some um throat lozenges. I'm really happy I came out and it wasn't raining anymore because I feel like I'm not like power walking, I'm not in a hurry. And I feel like sometimes you just need some fresh air, you need a good walk. I feel like this walk is gonna help. I don't know if you guys get this when you're ill, where like if you get some fresh air, it makes you feel significantly better. So I feel less con no, my nose is not blocked anymore, but I'm obviously still heavily congested. Um So I'm just happy I got to take a walk. <laughs> now it's back to work and i guess i'll probably catch you guys this evening not too sure i'll see how i feel sorry can you just give it up for me getting back before my lunch was over love that for me hi darlings how are you all doing um at the moment it's like past five i took a nap from like three something um after i took my med medicine in the afternoon and I just needed that nap. I feel so much better, actually. I'm hoping and I feel like this cold, like since this is the second one I've had in like a month, I feel like it will be a lot easier to fight off than the first one. So fingers crossed I'm right. But um, I'm now just back. I'm a computer working. Um, have some tea, some peppermint tea. I just keep drinking lots of like warm fluid, a lot of water as well, staying hydrated. And just staying warm i have taken off my hoodie for now because i was actually bunning up um in my bed from that nap but i'll put it back on shortly but for now i'm just gonna do some work so yeah let's finish off the work day i'm sorry for the glare of my glasses it's just that when i took my nap i took out my contacts and i didn't feel like putting another pair in so here we are i'm feeling vibes on vibes i'm taking dynamite I blow your candle lights You know I'm just that type No, them no fit kill my vibe Them no fit kill my vibe no Hey guys, so it's 2-7 now Yeah, 2-7 Um, I finished working, I could do more But I'm so drained, like I'm really, really drained I don't even know if I have it in me to watch TV Today Um, I'm going to fold my laundry because i think it's all dry now and then i don't know i might just go lie in bed i feel like i feel like this is now the illness obviously just really draining me of my energy and i can't decide if i want to take a long hot bath now or before bed because i usually like to be really warm and toasty just before i sleep like i'll soak in the bath and then give myself a quick shower and then um like once i put lotion in my body i do the whole vix vapor rub on my chest on my feet socks on it like rub down my body and the vapor rub so i feel like that usually works best just before i go to bed um i know i need to eat and the thing is i made that potato soup yesterday and was banging but like anyone who knows me knows i hate like having the same thing for days like that's why i can't meal prep i can't have the same thing two days in a row and i had it for lunch so i'm honestly not in the mood to have the potato soup for dinner like i still have bear in the fridge but i'm not in the mood to have it for dinner i have some chicken and bacon pasta i made um 
Sunday afternoon for lunch. I have a little bit of that left. So I think I'm going to have that. I think I'm going to have that because I'm honestly not in the mood to have that potato soup. I'm not going to lie to you. But part of me has been craving fried rice. So I'm like, should I make some fried rice? I don't know, you know. I think I'm going to have the, the pasta. And then I'll have fried rice tomorrow. Um, and then at least I can have potato soup for lunch. But for dinner, I can have fried rice because I can't lie to you. I'm not having a potato soup again. And I think that's the thing about the soup. Had I known how rich it is, I probably would have made a smaller batch. Um, I think the potatoes and then the cheese and, ev and everything else is just, it's so rich. It's far too rich for me to have it again and again and again and again. So lesson learned for next time. But as for now, or do I make like an egg and tuna salad? I could do that. I don't know guys <laughs> look at me just taking you guys through this decision anyway let me go and sort myself out and once i've decided i will probably show you guys hey besties so i've packed all the laundry away um and in the middle of me folding clothes and packing laundry away i was like no i know i don't want to have um any of that potato soup and it's a bit too soon for me to have that pasta just yet so what i actually did because i'm going no i'm not going to my boyfriend's house tomorrow i'm going on thursday now um so what i decided actually was i packed some of the potato soup in like my vacuum like lid lunch boxes and those are like freezer friendly so i put it in the freezer because for me personally i actually don't mind freezing soup and reheating it on the hob and eating it at a later date that's just me you don't have to be like me if you find that gross i hear it but i'm fine with it <laughs> so um that's what i did because like i was explaining earlier it's just too rich and i was not gonna have it again and then even the pasta where i made the pasta like two days ago and unfortunately that was like um mascarpone kind of pasta base so that's really creamy and like rich as well so i was like let me hold off on that and then i'll have pasta tomorrow for lunch and then now um obviously fried rice usually works better with like day old rice so i'm just gonna make some um spanish rice so that's kind of like a similar concept to the fried rice it's just that i can make it today like the rice doesn't need to be day old basically <laughs> um and then i'll just make some vegetable spanish rice and then i'll have it with like a soft fried egg and that's my plan for dinner i'm trying to make all the food really spicy to really like free up my sinuses and the congestion them so let's hope that works i think that's it for dinner i don't really think you guys want to see me cooking again um after dinner i actually want to crack on with some podcast work so basically if you listen to my podcast my friend and i have a podcast and we've taken a break um it's been long like it's been a few months i think the last time i recorded was like september or august and it's because it got to a point in the summer where we we're really really just too busy um last time i vlogged i was on a work trip to cairo and then literally like two months later um, end of August going into September I had another workshop to Barbados and then in October I had another workshop to Uganda so I feel like between like um July August like July and August weren't so bad it was just like summer just summering like everyone's always busy out and about clashing schedules and then as it got into like August September October like I was really busy at work um Leah also had um some work um engagements to take care of which made them really busy so we've had to take a break but we're now kind of working on i guess some sort of a rebrand we want to come back do things differently just kind of grow so i'm going to work towards some of that stuff um today a lot of the creatives and stuff that we need to do and a lot of the things we need to handle in that regard so I think that's going to be me for this evening. And then once I'm done with that, once I kind of get bored or kind of feel like I can't bear this again, um, I'll probably watch Being Mary Jane for a little bit and then have my bath and get into bed. So yeah, not really much going on today. Like I said yesterday, it's not like this week is jam-packed, but I like taking people on my day, even if it's not exciting because life isn't always exciting let's be real you know and i'm not like an influencer who like has you know this event and then that and then that but if you're watching this far 
I really do hope you're enjoying taking a peek into my life. <laughs> Hey guys, so I haven't spoken to you guys since like Wednesday or Tuesday. I feel like I spoke to you last week Tuesday and then you might have seen a little bit of Wednesday, what I did on Wednesday. But um, it's Saturday now, it's my booze birthday. Um, so since it's my booze birthday, um, he's just gone to football because he plays football. So um, I'm headed into London to see my auntie. I mean, I'm technically still in London. But yeah, I'm headed into like Central because I'm going to Canary Wharf. So it's not really Central, but I'm going to Canary Wharf. And then we're probably gonna just grab some food, drinks, chill because I truly haven't seen her like maybe two months. Also, um, I didn't do any makeup because as I'm ill, I feel like personally I look crazy. My hair is not as laid as I want it to be, but it's because I was rushing, so it is what it is. Um, so now you can kind of see the edges, but it is crazy. But regardless, I'm about to get on the central line from Chigwell in Essex to London. So I'm going from Chigwell to Stratford, and then I'll go to Stratford to Canary Wharf, and then yeah. But I don't know if I'll talk to you throughout the rest of today, but you'll see how the rest of my day Fantastic Four. Because you're the gifts. Oh, guys, man. Wait. Why oh, are you chewing like that? Like a bag like of bones. Oh, heavy, though. Fuck. <laughs> you don't record that mother, they record that. Of course. <laughs> Shock. <laughs> Wait, so what? Did you not make a separate, a separate group chat? Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> Delete it now. <laughs> I've done the business that you're supposed to do. Delete that. No, reawaken it. Like reawaken it when it's my birthday or something. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta turn it around. <laughs> Same day we be in the rain, bus of champagne. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this shit heavy, fam. Fuck. I'm gonna look bushy. Hey. What do you look? Do the others? No, you look bushy. It's yours. Okay. Okay. <laughs> He's like, you basically you was like, how do I do it? <laughs> Wow. Never oh, seen wow. something open in such a oh, way. Wow, that <laughs> Crazy. Very scary. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I love you so <laughs> much. I man. still do it to this day. I'm still doing it. Who do you think? Should go in the moment. Our chin's looking Aww. crazy. No, you're in love. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> going to bring that to the after part then. I don't know. I was like, do you guys want to do it? What are you doing? I got really here. Come on, man. Hey, that is funny. Yo. What's it? You don't need to try to make it. I need to get it. Not you blushing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everything was taken. You had to make it. Bye, Pila. Ryan, how we feeling? Oh, sorry, 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 man. How we feeling? How long left? Oh, we got like two hours and a bit until the next Got this looking sharp, sharper than ever. You know, we try. you know the vibes. Yeah, we try, we try. Um, it's gonna be an amazing night, man. It's gonna be excited. What? I'm so, I'm so proud. You're so proud. You're proud. You're proud. <laughs> I 
didn't really intro oh, no. today's vlog. <laughs> I haven't vlogged properly in days. But um, if you caught up with the other day, <laughs> given a description, we are the lower third. We're at the lower third now for Madge's show. Uh, we're in his dressing room. Oh yeah. yeah, we got him a gift. So I, Ray, Wesley, and I got Mads this champagne bottle, and it's customized. And we got him a "You're doing amazing, sweetie" card. Um, do you want to be in the vlog? I was in the vlog. Yeah. Hello, guys. Why are you whispering all of a sudden? Hi, guys. Oh, better. Um, we are here in uh, um, Less Cakes Vlogs. Is, That's is not that even the name of my channel, first of all. It's Nessu M. Nessu M Vlogs. Yeah. Hi. Smooth. Not something that everybody can get, you know what I'm saying? Period. Limited edition. Limited edition. Limited edition. You know the vibes. Everyone got their shot glasses. Yeah? Where is it? They're behind. They're behind the show. Yeah. You're not putting it right. I need it. I need it. No, no. It says the charge. Where the charge? 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 <laughs> like you're the writer. You're the writer. Um, <laughs> you all individually, um, not cause like obviously just cause you're here today, but you lot are very important people in my life in general. Um, some of you have been here since we were as well. Since I was knee high, you man were higher than knee high, but I was knee high. <laughs> <laughs> but um, this is to more greatness, more music, God guiding us the whole way. Period. Um, and I love you all. We love you. We love you. Welcome to the stage. Make some noise for Matt. I see you watching my story. Like before, he knows this himself. I don't really like 
listen to him. But now, like, for me to listen to him, he knows that it's coming up. Right? Um, probably more music, so like an EP, hopefully either this year or next year. Um, more live shows and yeah, more music videos, just more. more. Yeah. 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 Yeah, same. I think more music, more live shows. Um, I also think like more people will finally start to know who Matt is. I yeah. feel like over the last few months, um, he's been able to do um, performance, I think, for Apple Music with Western and his recent uh -huh. interview. I feel like more people are going to start paying attention and like knowing or noticing who Matt is. So that's probably going to be really exciting to see. Great, it's only, man. That's what we always say. The sky's the limit. The sky's the limit. Sound hella cliche, but no. It's literally just, it's just a moment of time for the world sees what he's on, and then it's, yeah, it's long from there. And I want a, sh a big show. Okay, let's, not, let's say OT Brixton. Makes sense. Mm. Yeah. You love Mads, I love Mads, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, just super proud of him, super, super. Really happy to see where he's at, you know what I'm saying? So guys, <laughs> I didn't finish off my intro early on, but we're headed to the after party now. I'm holding 1942. Oh jeez, big boss. Where's this here holding nothing? Yeah, because <laughs> she was dead. <laughs> okay. Wesley. Where's this here holding nothing? Huh? Wesley's a bumper class. He's a bumper class. He deserves nothing. Nothing, because he's here holding nothing. Not the car is this way. Okay, we're headed to the after party now, and so we'll see you guys soon. Let's have a vlog. Hey, hey. SD. Come on, man. You have time. <laughs> It's cute, isn't it? Hi guys, how are you? Hey! Are you well? uh, it was an amazing show, an amazing evening. Yep. And that's, I have nothing more for you. Period! Hi guys! Hey! Hey! Hi guys! Hey! Hi guys! 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 Hi But guys, that brings us to the end of the video. I really, really, really do hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to try and do a Christmas Day vlog or like a Christmas and New Year's vlog because I feel like I'm just generally going to be busy this weekend and then nothing and then next weekend. So to me, it makes more sense to put that in one singular vlog um, because I, like I said, I really do miss YouTube and I just want to start 2023 on a good note and like I want to usher the year <laughs> with good vibes and good habits and like intention that's a big word for 2023 intention and also discipline and so i don't think i have to necessarily be consistent and post like every single week or every single month but i do think in 2023 i want to try and post at least one video a month it doesn't have to be a vlog it doesn't have to be a whole but just something every single month at least and be intentional about that in that way because i just feel like even if it's not so much about the following or whatever, let me do something that I enjoy and that other people seem to enjoy, you know? But wishing you guys a prosperous new year. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye.